Stolen tech? I think I know where to look. Then we can use it to stop Cicada. Gentlemen, welcome to the market. Let's make a deal. We're making a deal with the devil. Tonight you're working for Goldface. How's it going, species? Welcome to a brand new Flash Season 5 trailer breakdown. This is for episode 13, titled Goldface. Uh, so that trailer, it was it was okay. Um, I'm not going to get my hopes up about this episode just because it looks okay. I know they're trying to find a way to stop Cicada now and the, this like underground criminal thing uh, could be quite a key to that. Uh, but it does just look like your average kind of episode. But what I'm most excited for, and I'm not going to prejudge. I will watch the episode, then I'll give my thoughts about it. Um, but what I'm most excited for is Iris actually uh, seeming to have a conversation with Cicada. But before I go on about all of that and break down the specific parts of this trailer, uh, I'm going to read out the synopsis for this episode, the official synopsis, uh, just to give us a little bit more context. Barry and Iris each take dangerous steps to stop Cicada. Barry and Ralph must go undercover as criminals in an illegal black market to purchase a device that, ca that could help them stop Cicada. Once inside, Barry and Ralph find their morality tested as they slip deeper into the criminal world, eventually having to choose between committing a crime or losing the means to defeat one of their greatest foes. Meanwhile, Iris investigates the lead on Cicada's whereabouts and ends up in a dangerous situation. Now, if you remember at the end of the last episode and in most recent episodes, the metahuman cure has been quite a big thing. There's been a couple of different reasons for that. I'm sure one of them to kind of cure Cicada, but the other one uh, and the other reason they're giving it is to cure metahumans who feel like their powers are accursed and actually they would, wouldn't want them or never would have chosen them in the first place uh, because some people uh, like Barry gets the speed force uh, but other metahumans just get a snake in their eye like Norvok right so I get that side of it um, but at the end of the last episode Barry's like oh Let's cure Cicada. Uh, now, some people are getting a bit confused by this, I think, uh, because Cicada is a metahuman via metatech, or you could argue uh, it's a little bit different by him. He's not picked up a, a cell phone with some meta like shard in it, giving it dark matter and thus making it a powerful weapon, like the Weather Staff from Weather Witch as well. Uh, Cicada actually has, just like his uh, niece Grace, um, this shard from the satellite with dark matter in it, thus giving their bodies uh, you know, metahuman abilities, which is like the cool thing. Plus, he has the dagger which responds to him because of the shard in his body, which is why I believe Grace in the future will be the future Cicada because uh, the dagger will respond to her also um, because of the shard that's in her brain. And we saw the little bit at the end of the last episode um, in a similar way that appears on Cicada's chest. So... How could they cure somebody who's technically not pure metahuman? The only best guess I have for that is that this cure will like remove the dark matter from the shard. So it just becomes a simple kind of shard in their body maybe. Uh, so, you know, they wouldn't be metahumans anymore because they don't have dark matter in their actual genes. Um, and, you know, they won't have metatech like Weather Witch has anymore. So actually, I do think they do need to get rid of that dagger, but they do have ways of doing that. Uh, so I'm guessing maybe what Ralph and Barry are looking for uh, in this underground crew criminal market for all kind of things is I don't know I, I I what I thought initially is that if they're looking to cure Cicada it's maybe some way of dis dispensing that cure at him <laughs> but like how are they going to do that get some ultra cool sniper rifle cure administer thing but I don't know this is what I mean uh this is what I'm kind of confused with with the next episode they're obviously going down there to find some kind of device that will help them stop Cicada add in the fact that Barry wants to cure Cicada it must be a way of administering the cure in, in a very interesting way now when we see Barry and Ralph first enter uh, the, the market shall we say or Goldface's market we're gonna have to talk about that in a second uh, we see that they have two like I'm guessing metahuman dampener bracelets on them so I'm guessing whenever you go in this place as a security precaution uh, just in case you're a metahuman uh, whether you are already or not we're going to slap this on your wrist just so when you go in there you can't steal our stuff you can't destroy our operation uh, you may be a metahuman but if we ask you if you're a metahuman well you just 
you, you wouldn't show us your ability. So either way, putting that on uh, somebody's wrist will, you know, stop the risk of them using some ultra cool mess human abilities like Killer Frost has or the Flash has. They could tear that place up, right, if they wanted to. So the, the interesting part of this episode is that Barry and Ralph are going to literally be uh, powerless and they're going to be in real trouble by the looks of it in this trailer because they're going to be operating amongst actual criminals trying to get in with them. They have no powers, so they could get really easily shoved around um if it weren't for maybe some of their heroic experience because i don't know what are what is barry without his powers to be honest he could get his ass kicked so easily same with ralph to be honest and i hate saying that but it's kind of true against real tough kind of criminals and you got like a little like barry allen just kind of like me skinny and just like can't really do much can't really fight much he's not oliver queen I don't feel like I need to insert logic there. Now, I believe this is Goldface. I could be wrong. Now, Goldface, I believe, I did have to look into it a little bit, is uh, from a Green Lantern run. Um, and I'm guessing he's not going to have the exact same uh, abilities and powers that he has uh, in the comics. You know, the Flash, just like a lot of live action things, do change things up. So I'm guessing they might make him a metahuman. He might be the only metahuman in there without one of those uh, bracelets on. And it's his operation. It's his thing. Um, and he's the one, you know... It, like, oh, so you, you want to make a deal. So they're going to have to do, to get that stolen tech to stop Cicada, Ralph and Barry are going to have to kind of commit a crime, I think, along with Goldface. Um, I'm guessing Goldface, as I said, is going to have abilities. In the comics, he like emits kind of this gold, like yellow, um, you know, kind of color. And that's why the Green Lantern can't really, you know, go up against him because his powers are ineffective against that uh, color. Uh, but, you know, in the Flash, I just think, I think if they do have some kind of ability for him, it we don't see it in this trailer uh he's wearing gold chains gold bracelets i believe at one point in uh the trailer he actually uses like his gold necklace chain as a weapon now anything like gold related as well for gold face in the comics he can actually use because of the the kind of serum he takes gives him enhanced strength and stamina but i'm guessing as i said the dark matter or from the particle accelerator or whatever maybe metatech since that's the big thing this season it could be his only way of doing it in the CW's version of this character. But we'll have to wait and see. Now here we see Barry checking out a gun. I'm guessing like, like look how big this place is on the ground. It's like a huge, huge ass market. I'm wondering if this is related to that. Um, what was it? That metahuman like market that Ammonet Black was on about last season. Obviously that was specifically metahumans, but this opens the, the kind of doors to a much bigger criminal black market world. And that's what this place looks like. Now I'm guessing this gun is just what they're administering, administering Barry and Ralph um, as a part of being that with their crew and whatever they're gonna have to do. Goldface, I assume, yet again, is just like, aren't you glad you're working for Goldface? He, as I said, he seems like the top dog at this place. I think he's sat in like a gold throne, if you will. Gold chains, gold, gold everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> do they have a Metatech on the gold chain? That would be hilarious because as I said, we see that shot of him whipping out that gold chain in some kind of fighting situation. So you never know. And bottom line, it does seem that, you know, throughout this trailer, Barry and Ralph are, you know, being equipped to go on this kind of uh, operation on behalf of criminals. So they're going to have to do it. They're going to have to do something. Uh, and they're going to have to decide if it's worth it because naturally they either commit a crime to get what they want to stop Cicada or they just don't and they will never stop Cicada. Right? I mean, the bigger option is to, you know, stop Cicada. He's the one killing people. Uh, but it, I, I'm guessing whatever this criminal organization is getting them to do, or should I just say Goldface, must be quite uh, bad for them to really question it and their morals and stuff. But if it is just a little simple crime, like a little break-in to stop a bigger problem, I, I think it's worth it, Team Flash, don't you? But funnily enough, at the end of this trailer, we do see, like, Barry and Ralph, like, back-to-back -back with the guns. And it seems like they're, like, defending against the, the people they're working with i could be wrong it could be like scpd or something like that but that'd be pretty stupid because as we see barry and ralph here no masks on or anything so that you know that's why i'm thinking it wouldn't be them because they'd be instantly recognized for christ's sake like barry works for, as a csi um ralph used to work for their ccpd i hope i didn't say scpd uh, but anyway yeah, I, I don't know if this is when they decide to say, screw it, we're not doing the crime, we're going to take the device anyway to stop Cicada and we're going to go against you guys. It's going to be kind of unbelievable, I think, because Barry and Ralph, as I said, without their powers, they're pretty rookie average dudes. So are they really going to get away, shoot a load of guns at like trained probably criminals who have been doing this for years? Yes, call that nitpicky or whatever, 
but I think that's true. It's, it's possibly true. So whatever. This episode looks um, fun, if you will. Hope it's going to be better than what I'm expecting. As I said, I don't really want to get my expectations up. The promo photos uh, show some of what we've been talking about. But as you see right here, the, as I said, the interesting thing for me is that Iris will blatantly stumble across All In's location where the house is. And he will be like, oh, you know, summon the dagger and um, quite simply take her in saying you're not going anywhere until we talk about this now is iris really in danger sure in a way but i think you know all into twisted kind of person in the sense that i don't think he will kill human beings he will kill metas no problem so that makes him an evil son of a bitch in a way um but human beings human life even if it is the flash's wife whether he knows that or not um, I don't think he's going to do that. I just don't think he's going to do that. He will have some kind of code still. Uh, you know, all in, as we've seen in flashbacks, is and has had, um, you know, a normal life, uh, normal feelings. So I think what we're going to see is Iris trying to appeal to all in um, as a parent, technically, with her own kid, even though it's from the future, Nora. Um, you know, just on a parent to parent level, saying what you're doing is screwed up. Don't do that. Do you really think blah, blah, blah is setting a good example for Grace? Lo and behold, Grace probably becomes female cicada in the future. But you get what I mean. I'm just looking forward to those stakes. I'm looking forward to seeing the human side of cicada again. It does look like, uh, it, whether it was in the trailer or these promo photos, Iris is kind of provoking some kind of sentimental or morale emotion out of him that might make him question what he's doing but either way we know he's not going to probably stop even with this conversation but you know that's a nice little play on things as well this episode other than that though everyone let me know what you think of next week's episode down in the comments below are you excited for this episode or are you just as i said kind of just uh somewhat apprehensive just to wait and see how it goes um will we get that much further in stopping cicada uh, and so on and so forth. Will there be any pleasant surprises like uh, maybe an Ebard scene or this, that, and the other development with Sherlock? Other than that, subscribe to this channel if you're brand new and you want to see more videos just like this every week um, and every day, really, <laughs> most days. And aside from that, links as always are in the description down below to my Discord server. Talk with me directly there and other fans of the channel and the shows. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you speedsters in the next video. Goodbye.